morning good beautiful morning yes i'm back it's a cold one today it really is quite chilly today luckily for me i've had the luxury of experiencing of reviewing a heater today so good I ain't even just saying it because we got it for free to so to say well it is so good right so i did pull out some sausages yesterday pack of six sausages to do bangers and mash and peas but then i've just gone and found a sausage casserole mix i've only got one I usually like to use two of them so i'm thinking i might do down a, a sausage casserole but if i go to all that effort it's always nice to have a mountain of it so i'm actually defrosting now the other six i'm defrosting them in the mic i don't know how that's going to pan out because um, i've never really done it like that right so first things first now i never did get around to filming last night's tea with the tacos i mean you've seen them all before i can only imagine you can only imagine what they look like but yeah it's got to be the first time that i've forgotten to actually film me dishing up never mind <laughs> never mind right so yeah first things first will be to brown the sausages now i'm not doing them in the slow cooker i think the last time i did a sausage casserole we were kind of fixated on the slow cooker and it definitely don't turn out as much as well as this in the oven my opinion dan still liked it so i need to get chopping and he's gonna have mashed potato with this so i need to get chopping a right load of um onions so that's the other pack they're defrosted so i can get them in there can't i yeah i mean it's a lot of grub but it's gonna then probably do him for tomorrow which will then give me a day off tomorrow so that'll be handy and good right let me get a load of onions Now I do prefer red ones with this dish for the fact that they're definitely a lot sweeter and stuff like that. Brings in a nice caramelised -y taste. Right, I don't know how long this has got to be because if I'll be totally honest, I've never defrosted anything in the microwave before. Well, not this microwave. Still hard. Still rock hard. Now one thing I do highly recommend though, if you're going to make a sausage casserole, try and use some half decent sausages. Highly recommend that. Right, so I've got, oops, I've got quite a few onions to get peeling now. Now I did want Dan to have the bangers and mash because I would have been done um, onion gravy, which meant some vegetable in him, so to say, and he would have gotten the peas. So I don't know whether to, I could still do peas with this, I suppose. I never do, but I suppose I could, couldn't I? Could put peas in it, but I don't want to ruin it in case he's not happy. So I think I'd rather just do a pile of peas on the side for him. All right, it's gonna need a lot of onion. So I just want to bring up, um, Something was spoken in the comments on. I hate doing this. I do. Something was spoken in the comments on my last night. I'm not going to go into it. But if you've got a problem with Prat Bear, Travel Trolls channel, please go over to the Travel Trolls channel and have it out there. You know, don't come over to my channel, please, and give me a load of jip because I really don't want it. I don't need it. All I'm just trying to do is be mazzy, try and put a video out there for you all and you know just get on with my day and i just want nice vibes and atmosphere on my channel basically and also another thing like this has happened a couple of weeks a couple of times sorry in the last whatever and this person was one of them including if you want to unsubscribe just unsubscribe you don't have to announce it this isn't an airport you know just unsubscribe 
I don't see why you feel the need that you have to announce this stuff. Um, but yeah, apart from that, that's it. <laughs> uh, I'm not letting them get to me. They, they, it didn't get to me. I'm just, I just don't actually understand why they come over to my channel to have a go at me about something else that ain't even related to my channel. You know? Anyway. But like I said, yeah, if you're not interested in watching me, then go. But like I said, you don't have to announce it. Just go. <laughs> you, you're not the kind of... You, you, these people are the kind of people that aren't real friends anyway. They would never be real friends. You could never trust these people as real friends. So that's why I've got no problem in um, saying to you, just go. <sighs> you know real friends don't turn their backs on other people for something so blimmin stupid <laughs> anyway getting through the onions i might I wish i had a few more of them honest i do have a white one i'll have a look that's banging about because the plate inside ain't ain't on right who else has this trouble with their microwave where the plate doesn't sit properly and it's an absolute nightmare? <laughs> yeah, well, drives me bonkers. Right, let me just see if there is any more. I've got this amount, which is a lot, I know it's a lot, but trust me, they go down to nothing. Oh, I do actually have three more red ones and one big white one. So let me just finish cutting these up. Do a few bits of shopping actually, if I'm honest. Dan's running low on sugar for his um, coffee in the morning. Um, I don't use sugar. I haven't used sugar for years and years and years in my coffees. Well, a tea, should I say. I always still say coffee, like I'm a coffee drinker. <laughs> but I'm not. No, I give up the sugar many years ago now. Don't need it, I'll tell you what, you do get used to it as well. You think the amount of cups of coffee, well, I think this is what did it for me. They, I was I was all worked out. The amount of cups of coffee I was having during the day could have been like eight or ten. And to each one of them, I was putting two teaspoons in. It's a lot of excess sugar during the day. <laughs> yeah, so I gave all that up. And then I couldn't, I couldn't bear it now if there was sugar in my my. Well, I'll say coffee, but I'm not drinking coffee. But I couldn't bear it. Yes, yeah, so I've already done a video anyway, me and Dan today. <laughs> Reviewed a heater. Brilliant, absolutely brilliant heater. I'm definitely keeping that. <laughs> right, so there we go. That's definitely all the onion now. That should be plenty. I'm just nervous because like I said, I, I've only got one of these and I usually use two. Oh, my eyes are going a bit stingy. <laughs> this did this to me yesterday. Right, let me go and wash my hands. That defrost function on there is rubbish, isn't it? Still a little bit kind of frozen in the centres. Well, some of these are. I'm just going to pull it on a, on a low. Uh, proper microwave. So we actually got up late today. <laughs> I'll tell you what, I was absolutely knackered, really drained. Just been a busy, busy week. And um, yes, yeah, so I got up and I thought, I ain't doing nothing today. <laughs> that didn't last long. <laughs> <laughs> did all me chores in here so to say you know me daily chores cleaning the bathrooms hoovering making the beds 
Uh, I've got a washing to take down to the bottom there because it's my quilt set. It's the only quilt set that won't get into my little machine, which is quite annoying, but never mind. Right, I'm gonna start putting this pan on for the sausages because these aren't gonna be too much longer now. So if I bring you down there. So I wanna brown the sausages first. Well, I'm gonna do these, yeah, do you know what? I should have done these six first anyway, shouldn't I? So in the meantime, let me see how this is getting on. I'm gonna peel some potatoes for the mash. Still a little bit hard in some of them. Come on. <laughs> I'm gonna get some potatoes and do some mash. There we go. I love my EcoFlow potato bag. <laughs> it's actually good. So it's only oh the heat's coming up on these now. So I'm gonna brown these six off and then brown the other six off. I was wondering whether to do um, some little um, roast potatoes today because I've got garlic in them and I thought, oh, roasted garlic um, roast potatoes <gasps> would have been lush. Yeah, but I haven't. <laughs> I might do tomorrow, depending on what Dan's going to be having tomorrow. a lovely Easter anyway. To me, Easter is just a, just a different day in this household. <laughs> a bit like Christmas and birthdays as well. <laughs> yeah, just, just the same day. Same, same rubbish, different day. <laughs> Might do 
one more potato on that actually. Yeah, I'm probably going to do that. So I'm cooking these quite high really because the sausages, because it's a matter of browning them really. They don't have to exactly cook on the outside. Uh, cook in the middle, sorry. Two bubble ones, so I'll quickly just do those. Flip them. The other ones are done now. Not big fan of defrosting. Not big fan of defrosting meat in the microwave, if I'm totally honest. I think that's probably why I don't really do it. <laughs> Trying to get all sides covered. Ideally, butcher sausages for this dish is the best. But, mm, it's getting to a butcher in it. <laughs> It. For some reason, these onions are making me like very tearful. <laughs> All right, a bit of salt in there into the potatoes. Ooh. Since I've um, last cleaned them, quite organised. <laughs> right, ah, my finger got stuck. Right, check on them. And a nice crust on the outside. While they're sizzling away. Sorry, it's a bit noisy. I really have got it on high heat. I'm trying to get a nice crust on the outside. Just going to make up my mix. Cold water to mix this one. If you use hot, it doesn't actually mix properly. Smells so nice. only actually supposed to use one of those technically for the amount I'm cooking but I like mine quite thick and stuff so I usually tend to use a bit more all right let's just place you there let's just check on the sausage oh they are better now They're actually getting a little overcooked, I suppose, but Dan likes a nice crust. <laughs> so I'm going to leave it at that. Look nice. And now do me other six. <laughs> In we go. Right, 
Right, I've got a lot of trash to take out. Right, let's see how these went. Oh, wow. <laughs> so maybe these ones are a bit hot. It's all right though. That's how Dan likes them. <laughs> so what I'm gonna do is just get some peas out. Peas out ready. Like I said, I've never done peas with this before. <laughs> I want to try and get some goodness into them. He's always tired and weak and lethargic. Personally, for me, I don't think it's anything to do with what he's eating. I think it's because he's up half the night. Very rare he gets a good night's sleep. Whereas me, as soon as I hit the pillow, I ain't joking when I tell people that either. I am... Um, out of it. <laughs> I think that's about enough. Yeah, probably a bit too much. There's a pea there. I don't want pea going into it. <laughs> That's enough. He does have like pizzas and chicken steaks and stuff like that in the freezer. But I've been trying to avoid him having them. Because it's not going to help him if he's, if he's feeling like this every day anyway, is it? So I am trying my best to cook him proper dinners. Overflowing. I'm going to have to go and tip it out over here. <laughs> Mind. It's getting carried away to the me sausages. <laughs> so I think I'm going to leave that as that. They're all pretty good, really. I know, Dan, he'd like them black, but believe it or not, it's taking quite some time. <laughs> so I'm taking these out because... Now, I don't usually do this, but I'm going to do this today just because I want to... I feel like there's some flavours in that fat. So let me just turn that down. I'm actually going to slightly fry off the onions I think that oh can I manage them yeah yeah I think that'd be quite nice if I can just fry them off just a little bit I did actually have half a white onion in the fridge, so I thought, well, may as well make use of it, so I've chucked that in as well. This ain't going to need much longer. Right, I think that should do it. So it's a lot of um, onion, but there's a lot of sausages. <laughs> And they go down to nothing anyway. So I've just put the oven on. Because this takes quite a little while in the oven, you see. I need to... Actually, I want some onion on top of this lot, don't I? Bring it, bring it with some more flavour like. Right, let's put this this in. I hope this is going to cover it nicely. I doubt it is, and then which means I've got to put water in. And then it means 
no that's it brilliant so I've got a little bit of powdery stuff at the bottom of there so I'm gonna try and clean that out it's the good stuff <laughs> There we go. Oh, so that's looking well. I'm just going to bring that sort of up to the boil and then pop it into the oven. Just quickly get a tiny bit of washing up liquid done. Just going to get a tiny little bit of washing up liquid done. Just going to get a tiny little bit of washing up done. <laughs> I told you, I'll start talking rubbish. <laughs> Oh, that sounds like actually that's coming up to the boil already. Oh, come on. Not quite. Yeah, I'm one of these that talk rubbish. As soon as I get a bit tired or a bit like worn out. <laughs> Believe it or not, talking sort of constantly on a camera can do that to you as well. Like... I don't know, it does it to both me and Dan where we, you, you just talked out, if that makes sense. So I was going to bring in Dan's suitcase because he's got a, um, a hat and some shoes over there. But I might, might just do that tomorrow now. Because <laughs> I've still got some other bits anyway to put into some of the cases anyway, so I may as well just wait till tomorrow. I'm going to go out and help Dan now then, once this dinner's ready. This vlog is going to be finished. Oh no, just dropped my tea towel in there. Because um, he's trying to start a new review. So I've got to go out and encourage him if nothing else. Going back to last night's dinner with the tacos. Dan had four tacos straight off. Usually I only ever give him two. And then he asked for the third. No, no. No, I gave him three, but usually I only give him two. And then he says, oh, am I supposed to be on a diet or something? Hinting as if like, I hadn't given him enough food. So I then got him the fourth one. He ate all four. <laughs> Couldn't believe it. They're filling. They're really filling. Right. So I've put the heat on low. It's bubbling up nice now. And now I've got to try and get this in the oven. This pot in the oven can be a bit of a, a bit of a nightmare because it's so heavy and my hot, you know what my oven's like, it's all the way up there. All right, let's see if I can get it. Especially when this tray is hot though, I mean, as well. What's going on? Just just got it in right so i've had a quick little tidy up i'm going to call this a vlog that's it there and we're going to see you again tomorrow don't worry i will try and remember to vlog the dishing up today right gonna love you and leave you see you tomorrow love you